Hello and welcome to GTA 5 Minute Facts. In this show, we'll bring you everything you need to know about GTA 5 in five minutes or less. Quite literally, as it turns out, because in today's show, we're going to round up the 10 things you need to know about GTA 5 before you start. If you enjoy the show, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe too, so you can guarantee not to miss your daily slice of GTA 5 action in the run-up to the game's launch. Okay, let's go. Number one. GTA 5 is the first game in the series to feature three playable characters. Michael is a retired bank robber living under witness protection in Los Santos. He's in his 40s, rich and utterly miserable. Trevor is also in his 40s, bat turd insane and living out in the sticks of Blaine County dealing drugs and running guns. Finally, coming out of East Los Santos, we've got Franklin, a 20-something repo man who's trying to escape the gangs, drive-bys and petty crime of the hood for something bigger. You can swap between the characters at any time, even during missions. Number two, this is the biggest map the series has ever seen. Rockstar reckon it's the same size as the maps from San Andreas, GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption combined. How have they done it? Partly by mapping the ocean too, all the way around the island. So not only can you get airborne with planes and choppers, you can go deep sea diving too, heading down to sunken wrecks on the ocean floor. Number three. Threaded throughout the game are six tentpole heists, each of which require a level of planning unlike anything we've seen in the GTA series before. Vehicles, weapons, crew, entry and exit points, timings, equipment, masks, CCTV, police response times and everything in between need to be factored in and accounted for. Many of the other smaller missions in the game are built around these, teaching you tactics and helping you learn the ropes as you work up to those six potentially massive paydays. Number four. Don't panic, as well as the six multi-layered, multi-component tentpole heists, there are as many as ten times more smaller missions, including traditional GTA fare like drive-bys, tailing and assassination missions. There are rafts of side missions too, smaller affairs like the type we got to see in the single player demo when Michael had to escort a Hollywood starlet away from the paparazzi and back to a house. Number five. There is extensive customization this time around with vehicles, guns and people all available for a makeover. In terms of vehicles, you can add roll bars, armoured plates, nitro, spoilers, new wheels, even different sounding horns. With weapons, there's suppressors, scopes, better grips, flashlights, extended clips and more. You can apply paint jobs to both vehicles and guns too. Even your character can be tweaked with new clothes, hairstyles, beards, glasses and tattoos available to jazz them up. Number six. The customization is there for a reason. With heist planning a central focus for the game, you need to ensure you have the right tools for the right job, so you have to tweak vehicles and guns for individual missions using individual parts. The idea is that you'll build more of an attachment to these and get to keep them, or in the event of your car being stolen, stroke blown up, stroke claimed by the police, you can head to the impound and claim your luminous green lowrider back for a nominal fee. Number seven. The game makes extensive use of smartphones and social media. Via your phone you can call people, take pictures, upload those pictures to the Rockstar Social Club or your own social media account, plus access the in-game internet. The game's version of the World Wide Webulator features a big selection of websites including a brilliantly observed riff on Facebook called Life Invader. Number eight. There are well over a hundred vehicles in the game ranging from bottom-of-the-rung station wagons and compact cars to high-end Lamborghini and Ferrari lookalikes. And it doesn't just stop at cars. There'll be lorries, buses, fire engines, ambulances, vans, bikes, helicopters, planes, tractors, jet skis, dinghies, yachts, tanks, jeeps, armoured trucks, BMXs, mountain bikes, tow trucks, cement mixers, and more. Number nine. The soundtrack features over 240 songs, 15 stations, and over 20 movies worth of tunes. As well as the expected hip-hop, rock, pop, reggae, soul, funk and ambient stations, there's also, for the first time in the series, a score composed by Tangerine Dream, Red Dead Redemption and L.A. Noir composer Woody Harrelson and hip-hop producers Alchemist and Oh No. The score will play when you're not in a vehicle. Number 10. Last but by no means least is GTA Online. The multiplayer component arrives two weeks after the release of the game but it's free to everyone who buys a copy of GTA 5. All you have to do to access it is select the fourth segment on your character wheel. What's special about GTA Online is that it isn't just a series of death matches, it's the entire map populated by up to 16 human players and tons of AI opponents. It's free roaming, just like the single player game. In essence, it's an MMO, akin to World of Warcraft, but with everything you love about GTA 5. That means heist, customization, all the vehicles, the soundtrack and more. Oh, and it includes brand new missions and an entire mission creator. Basically, you never need to stop playing GTA 5 again. Ever. So that's 10 things you need to know about GTA 5 before you play. If you want more on other key areas of the game, be sure to check out all our episodes of GTA 5 Minute Facts, 
or tune into our longer, much more in-depth sister show, GTA 5 O'Clock, which you can also follow on Twitter at GTA V O'Clock. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you come back tomorrow for more GTA 5 Minute Facts.